Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. This is uh, part two of our Twitch live stream recap, where we'll be taking a very quick ride on an SKS to Kauai Protato Station. We might not even... yeah! Oh, that's awesome. We probably don't even need to turn the clamp pump clamps back on. That's perfect. We're just going to ride this down a little bit. Nope, I did not mean to turn that off just yet. Six, five, four, three, two, one, dot four, dot five. Human person, how's it going? Yeah, I understood it's a contractor's payload or your own. This is a contractor's payload. You guys wonder why it never streams with the webcam? Maybe. All right, uh, SAS is on, throttle is set to full, relative inclination is good, I hope our staging is good too. 1906 off the pad, so get ready to crawl. Ignition. Good light, clamps off. Stall. Should have typed General Kenobi instead. <laughs> Who built it? Uh, this is from uh, Wookie. I forgot to change the flag. Oh, well, please tell me I kept the flag. Is there a Wookie flag? No. Oh, all right. Well, I'm gonna have to go back in later and edit the configs to put the proper flag. Wow. This is interesting. We have a no. Nope. All engines green across the board. We're just uh, gonna, yeah. Well, you know, when you've got interesting launches all day, why should this one be absolutely any different whatsoever? Hopefully, be back soon. All right, pulsified. Hope to see you again soon. Could have the same file easy enough. Yep. Yeah. Everyone watched the movie Moon. It reminds me of Boris. That that was an an awesome awesome movie. Let's go at least somewhat in the correct direction, maybe. This is what happens when you put two rookie pilots on board. They're probably fighting each other over the flight stick. Come on, y'all. Get it together. You have a crew to go pull out of orbit. Cargo to deliver. I should have lit the OMS engines. We're up to 1.42, so we should be smooth sailing. Two. Better. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Now, if you could just maintain that level of uh, relative inclination for a little while, everyone would be a whole lot happier. Dot five. I'll take dot five, because at least you'll be... Certainly not less combative about it. Jesus. I hope I'm not angling too low. Welcome to Boris Industries. <laughs> you better not dump my fish in the ocean. <laughs> I'm trying really hard, Wook. <laughs> yeah, it has the same kind of issues when I was test flying the SKS with this payload. I just think it has a hard time when it's got such a large payload in it. Probably. Strut it down, though. I'm certain of that. Yes. I made extra sure to double check the struts. They do exist. It's not the payload wiggling, it's probably just the uh, the mass being more offset than usual. Yeah, I think we're arced way too low. It's the exact opposite of last time. Let's, okay, let's go and throttle up. Go it, go up, please. Yeah, only 30 kilometers. We should not be at quite this angle just yet. All right. Um, 40 seconds to boost your sep. Oh, go, baby, go. Down one. Let's roll that relative inclination back a bit, please. 
Yep, too much. Overdid it. That's uh, par for the course. Fair enough. That four I'll take. That'll be fine. All right, 100 kilom. Whoa! Oh, I forgot to bump the fuel around. That would be today's issue. Wow there, buddy. Come on now. Let's find harmony and balance in our flight plan today, please and thank you. Stop. That should be good. Booster set. Clearing away. Maybe a bit much in the nose. Drain that out. No action, DTDT. Wobbly Boy 2, Revenge of the Slushing. <laughs> Successful separation. We've got some stability back. Let's just uh, try to keep it that way. Alright. SKS, you are go for roll. and rookies. You want to stay on top of the tank, generally, fellas. Is that increasing or decreasing? 3637, increasing. So, let's take it back this way a bit. Engine transatlantic abort, I guess. Uh, yeah, if we went to two engines now, we would almost have to transatlantic abort. I mean, yes, we would absolutely have to transatlantic abort. <laughs> no failures, no failures, no whammies, no whammies. Keep that relative inclination low, keep your nose above horizon. There's our thunk, clear of atmosphere. Just build some altitude and cruise smoothly to orbit. Uh, time to apogee might be a problem, though. We're going to go ahead and just try to balance on these engine bells a little bit. Stupid MET timer doesn't start at launch. <laughs> Shibogami, how's it going? Hello, hello. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I'm not sure I did. I'm really bad at enunciating. Oh, thank you. It's uh, <laughs> rolling a little uncontrollably currently on our attempt to get it on station. Oh, well, that relative inclination came down nicely. Uh... It's being a little combative. Okay, Art 90, what's going on today? Oh, how's it going, Jamie? Nice to see you back. It's been a while. Um, okay, Art 90, we're taking this shuttle hopefully to orbit. I don't think I'll have enough time to actually bring it on to the space station we have in orbit, but um, we're going to get as much done as we can in the next little bit that I've got going. SKS, press to ATO. Oh, Jamie, every uh, every week, starting at 4 o'clock, going typically till 5.30 is when I'm on. Uh, we've got a uh, space station in low Earth orbit. We've got a crew up there waiting to be brought home, and we have a cargo there waiting or on here waiting to be delivered. Provided, of course, this thing doesn't go all cattywampus. Oh, that's an increasing. Ah, oh, yes, the wrestling match. That is an SKS flight. All right. Uh, 
9 degrees of relative incline. That's awesome. Okay, a single engine moron. 104, my favorite call out. <laughs> Oh, six seconds from Apogee. Dang it. Come on. And our Apogee is still entirely too low. We need to suit for about 250 kilometer. And we're on the way back down. Oh, good. This is going well. This is going extra good. <laughs> Suborbital glider for the win. Oh, not if we want this cargo to not be in the ocean or in the sands of North Africa. Take your pick. Uh, I would like to start gaining altitude much more rapidly than this. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to stand it on the bells. Uh, good thing we got some excess Delta V, although we could aid our cause just a little bit here in vacuum. And stage in the OMS engines. Actually winding up in a lower orbit than KP station isn't necessarily a bad thing. It is not. It's just uh, rendezvous for me becomes a whole lot easier when I've got at least one point of reference where they cross. Yeah, a higher station would be nicer than where it's actually at. It totally would be, but... Uh... Oh! I forgot to take the contract. Why did you let me do this? SKS confirmed OMS ignition. Solid light on all four OMS engines. Five kilometers per second, Mark. Red cash, yeah. Well, it's a good thing those uh, contracts for the Enceladus lander and the uh, Callisto lander paid out a lot up front, because uh, we've got a buffer zone, at least until we failed them. That's always nice, isn't it? Are we going up yet? No, we're going down even more rapidly. Okay, then. Go for... Increasingly radical pitch up figures. Please and thank you. Yeah, okay. I'm getting real tired of this wrestling match, so we're gonna kill rotation. Hey there, buddy. Where. Who told you that was an okay thing to do? On the bright side, you have lots of extra fuel. Indeed. We're going to use uh, every last little bit. Well, I should probably shut down the OMS at some point here. Oh, come on. Totally not holding our inclinations today? Okay, good. Our rate of descent has finally started to decrease. So I think we can... Yeah, shut that shit off. Yeah, we're gonna need some of this for rendezvous. Shut down. Shut down. Shut down. Shut down. Oh man, dot two seven degrees. Seriously? Hey, we're climbing! I don't need to be pointed so radically away from my uh, velocity vector anymore. Woohoo! What's our total time? A minute 34? Oh, good, because we got 40 seconds of runtime left. Are we going to get into an orbit? An orbit? Any orbit? Maybe one that has some altitude to come with it. Two minutes fifty, orbit is climbing. Oh yeah, we're green across the board. In there like swimwear. 
10 to 25. All right, let's pitch down. We're gonna shoot above it just a bit. There is our camera change. Nose in. Oh yeah, way above it. That's fine too. 150, shut down. Hooah, with a kilometer per second left to burn. Goodbye, oh, I met her uh, EFT. Hallelujah. Not two relative inclination. That's going to be uh, interesting. <laughs> Just a bit. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Leave me alone, Wook. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's take a look at our nodes. Okay, now remember when you start flying the new shuriken, you can't do that. <laughs> Highly contingent on me starting to fly the new shuriken also. Oh, would you? Would you look at that? Just look at it. Did I just launch to orbit on accident? Where are we? There's us, so no, because... I don't think we have time to correct for a 40 kilometer difference so readily, but holy, that is the closest I have ever come to a launch to intercept ever. And it's like almost not a thing. 45, 40, 43. Maybe we can press this down just a bit. Holy sh. Huh. If I'd been paying attention to that figure on the way up. 14, 13, 14, okay. Oh, dude. Ha <laughs> ha Less than half an orbit. I can get us within 1.5 kilometers. We'll just touch the rest up in a bit. We got to get these OMS engines fired up. We got 144 meters per second to take care of. Sorry, Vito guy was asleep again. That's all four. One, two, three, four. Yes. All right. Shut down engine lock gimbal. Shut down engine lock gimbal. I am rotating the wrongiest of wrong ways, aren't I? Ah, oh, dang it. That equals throwing away the EFT immediately. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can't throw away the EFT. Have to transfer fuel. I thought you meant just fly really badly and not get a whole lot accomplished. <laughs> Yes, yes, you are. <laughs> Flying really badly? I mean, that's par for the course, I'd say. I would say, this would, if this happens, this will be the first time I've ever pulled off a rendezvous in less than, like, 10 orbits. Now, you can fly as badly as you like as long as you don't jettison your fuel. Fair. Relative inclination, or separation and closest approach, sorry, is decreasing, so we're just going to run with it. <laughs> Only a one minute burn. That's awesome. SAS not on. Uh, smart ASAS is, which defeats SAS. And that node's pushing away from us, so I guess my pitch is a bit much. The tank floating by. <laughs> Goodbye, little friend. We're out of range now. Can't see him. I guess we've displaced more than two kilometer. All right, let's. Yeah, my nose pitch above the node is a bit excessive. 
I'm climbing still. As long as that separation closest approach continues to fall, I don't really care. Wonder how many EFTs there are in orbit. Oh, they get detonated. Almost regularly. I'd like to say regularly, but not a I'm really lazy about that. Eleven kilometers. We have done pretty much an about face, but that number is falling more and more rapidly with every yeah, you know, we'll just we'll spin some donuts. Three kilometers, two, one, shut down. Yeah, 270 meters ain't that bad, and we've only got six minutes to kill. Wow. Match velocity is the closest approach, 249 meters per second. It says that burn will take a minute 52. Hold on. Quick save, because I was just talking to Veos yesterday about how I've never done a launch to intercept ever, and I just did one on accident. <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a hoofing. It is. It's going to be a bit of a thing. Uh, why did that jump to 493 meters now? Oh, come on. Still. I guess launching to be within 500 meters in less than half an orbit is not the worst thing that could happen. Although we're gonna we're gonna ruin it now. How's our electric charge? Because I don't want to open the cargo bay just yet. If you had to repay some of that two kilometers you got for free with the Nemo last episode. <laughs> Fair. And I sh I'm think I'm going to unlock the reserve fuel. Come on, note it, please, at the node. Now oh, we got two minutes. Who am I rushing? Minute 52. We're probably going to do just a little bit of burn by. Time warp something, wibbly wobbly something, physics and accuracy something something. <laughs> Alright, and 10 degrees offset. Now we wait. I guess the target is right behind me. We got, yeah, we got a reticle. There she is. Coming in hot. <laughs> Open the bay doors, not unless it's on the daytime side. I could turn on the fuel cells. Our electric charge is fine. That's really the only reason to open them yet. I'm not going to ruin the surprise. Three minutes left. Uh, I think we'll hang <laughs> cliffhanger for the win. <laughs> oh, cliffhanger. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. Not for the win. We might run a little long today. Okay, we need to be lighting these engines now, please. That was a mistake. 10 degrees above vector. Ullage, ullage, ullage. Come on. Ullage. Secure. Ignition. Oops. 800 meters, is it climbing or falling? Falling? Excellent. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go a little bit past it. Perhaps. Alright. Render range. Still 200 meters per second to go. Ah, uh, why did I time warp for that long? That was dumb. <laughs> Hello. Goodbye. Yep. Well, you know, I had to screw it up at some point. Obvious <laughs> awkward moment when you slam on the brakes in the middle of an intersection. <laughs> 
classic Cosmo. <laughs> when you were supposed to break in the previous intersection. <laughs> so I I almost did this in less than an orbit. Almost, yeah. Had to, was given a good thing, a golden gift, and uh, promptly proceeded to poop myself and walk off stage left. Quality work. <laughs> oh, yes. Quality, quality work. He'll get closer again in this same orbit. Yeah, we're probably gonna overrun this node and put ourselves back on a course to come back around relatively quickly. You're on the verge of greatness. <laughs> we're this close. Now you're further away than when you were when you started the burn. <laughs> fair. Four, three, two kilometers, 2.3, 1 dot eight, seven, six. All right, shutting down because 41 meters per second is a little bit more than I'd like to burn off. So we're going to try to touch this up on RCS. At least when I have a nice visual reference point, it does become a little bit easier. Point target now. Yeah, go ahead and steer the nodes into alignment. Yep. Oops. I hit buttons on my phone I should not have. Uh, oh well. Eight hundred meters. Yeah. All right. A few minutes. How long will it take to do a forty-one meter per second burn on these OMS engines? And should I worry about more than? Hmm. Yeah, because braking thrusters do absolutely nothing. So we're going to have to flip 180 degrees and burn retro. Hopefully with a little bit better timing. Technically should be facing ass first. Absolutely should. So let's uh, get ourselves spun around. Because uh, we've got a minute 22 seconds until we get there. About 20 seconds. I hope you did actual math for that, Scorpio, because I'm going to take you at your word for it. Well, we need to be facing 10 degrees above, uh, was that target anti-normal? To compensate for the displacement of our engines. You did. Excellent. It's about to come and render, so ah, I jumped. Dang it. Now you have 568 meters. Render range. Waiting for hours. Oh, I'm certainly not going to get to the docking. There's 20 seconds. How did you get way the hell over there? Ignition.
Really? That went by pretty quick. <laughs> Luca's raiding with a party of 19. Awesome! <laughs> Street Beaks, Airplane Band, hey, how's it going? I, yeah, great timing. Messing it all up. <laughs> shut down, engine shut down. Oh boy, <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> great timing, Luca. Ah. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome. Glad to see all of you here. Ah, not M key, K key. Alright, we're I was certainly trying to make rendezvous here. Although a uh, difference of ten meters per second or so. Station looks pretty kawaii. <laughs> <laughs> We've just landed the ocean and start over. <laughs> oh, Wookiee will get so mad at me. Yeah, we're just going to abuse our OMS engines now. We need to push that node down. That would be uh, not down. 1.8 meter per second is not that bad. We're only a thousand kilometers away. No big deal. Not tanky. Cakey. Let's spend an extra 20 minutes on this one than the other one. I will certainly try. 1.1 meter per second. Let's just kill it. There we go. So yes, that would be 20 minutes worth of work matter if this one fell in the ocean than the other one. Thousand meters away, you mean? What did I say? There are no OMS failures on a real shuttle, so you can abuse them. Well, that's good to know. Alright, and we'll just uh, give him a little bit of a bounce. There we go. Running? No. There we go. A thousand eight. Oh, I said a thousand kilometers. Yeah, good for me. This is what happens when I can't pay attention to stuff. All right, we're gonna come within ninety-two meters, so we might as well get the surprise over with. Open cargo bay. Ta da! I present to you Dory. This is the uh, sister ship to the Nemo that is currently docked at Kawaii Proteto Station. Uh, a four-engine variant of basically the same craft used for ferrying crew between uh, low Earth orbit station and uh, lunar orbit station. And it will hopefully be good at its job. Nemo did a pretty good job. Extend... Even, yeah, that was pointless to extend those panels. It's nighttime, and hopefully we'll be docked before daytime. And fuel cells work best when you have fuel available. All right, good. That one's running. We really only need to run one. Yep, yeah, we are charging our batteries. Excellent. And uh, 2 minutes 32 until our closest approach. So I don't exactly need to swing around just yet. Yeah, now there are two of them. <laughs> Prequel memes. Commissioning a new dirtfish. Planet 9, if it exists, it's around 100 AU from the sun. Yeah, 1000 AU might have been different. It's going to have trouble remembering... Wait, what? <laughs> nah. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. What happened to Nemo? Uh, nothing bad. Still docked here, but uh, the point was to have two, so initially I did commission two. I just, uh, I figured one would be coming back from Tremonia Station, Orbit of the Moon, on its way to Kawaii Proteto Station, and the other one could depart Kawaii Proteto Station and head to the moon so that we could maintain um, crew at any point. Don't forget to unlock the fishy gimbals. Indeed. Wookie gets really mad when I sp uh, <laughs> when I spin stabilized crude vehicles. 
It'd be neat if you could do something similar to smashing a champagne bottle on the hull. Are they able to survive re-entry? Um, I don't think so. I would honestly say no. They were never designed to survive re-entry. They are just designed to go from station to station. And that's why we have these awesome shuttles. But I mean, yeah, they're Mark II shuttle parts, so they could technically, or maybe mostly. But it's not exactly a situation we tested for. Oh yeah, that would be kind of cool. <laughs> Actually, you know what? How long do we have until this? Uh, I don't think I have time to roll. So we'll break and then we'll roll. Alright, minute 5 apparently at 5.4 meters per second is what it's going to take us to close this 230 some odd meter per second gap. Or meter gap, not per second. Oh boy, they can survive median severity arrow breaking. Oh, in case of like an emergency fuel situation. Mark II parts only rated for LEO entry, barely. So they, it's a maybe that they could survive a, an arrow capture pass. We can't dock on this side anyway. So we might as well just slam on the brakes now. Oh, fuel. Vapor and feed lines. There we go. We have uh, achieved rendezvous in case of alien invasion or tank explosion or something else that would never happen in KSP. Wookie likes to plan for these things. All right, we have our docking port target set. get ourselves oriented roughly 90 degree out. Let's take a look here. Mostly. Oh, I'm going to run way over. Lady Crash is going to get so mad at me. This is so worth it. Nope. Too much. Too much. Too much. Whatever. Roll. Delicate Space Ballet. The ridiculously gargantuan shuttle. Alright, and we... Kind of feel like we want the target node above us, but I don't really know what our relative... Angular offset is, so that could probably go changing things a bit. Yeah, a little bit more roll. I guess I do want it above us. This is going to take a while. <laughs> All right, well, we are on course. Awesome, let me catch up with chat. Now, I would park Dory first and then park the SKS afterwards. That makes a lot of sense, because I'm a new, I don't know where to look. What's the name of the shuttle? Uh, technically, the shuttle's name, well, it has three names. Uh, <laughs> Shogun Katana Stingray, there are three versions, but just for simplicity, so we just call them the SKS. And yeah, I guess there really isn't any place on here to look to see the name of said shuttle. So, not really a noob thing, but... Because I don't know if there's enough room to deep berth it while docked. Hmm, yeah, so we might have to rotate 90 degrees relative to the station before actual docking. So that we can leave a port free. Well, no, that port should be unencumbered by our presence. We're hoping anyway. 
Yeah, I'll say, I don't think I have time to do two dockings tonight. I'm already 14 minutes over my allotted runtime for this show. But I really just want to get this docked so I can say we did something successful on a live stream once. <laughs> Even though it was barred with me uh, really trying extra hard to screw it all up. How's it was mean? And unlike NASA, doesn't want to name his shuttles. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He just doesn't know how to keep track of them or differentiate between them. Dude, these shuttles, man, they all look the same. <laughs> all right. Where are we, and how is our relative angular anything? All right, so definitely some pitch up angle on that axis. It's hard to place decals on procedural wings where you want them. Indeed it is. Roll. Tippy tap, tippy tippy tap. All right, we gotta make some business happen here. I think we're coming in all right. Just not very fast. <laughs> That's to be expected. We'll just uh, scrape some paint off of Nemo. Why not? It's messed up. Shuttle our people too. <laughs> Where are you flying over currently? Africa? Uh, should be. I guess this is the view to check. Yes. Africa. So we'll be docked somewhere around uh, Australia. Given my current success rate on such a thing. All right, let's try to look right down the barrel. Yeah, I think our current lateral velocity is going to aid us a bit. Although the braking is going to be a fun thing. Only 40 meters to go at half a meter per second. All right, there's a little bit of a reset, a slowdown. The shuttles are risking loss of vehicle because lack of proper abort modes. At least give them names for pity's sake. <laughs> like, imagine something the size of an Imperial-class Star Destroyer. I have no idea how any two such larger ships would ever be able to dock. Oh, jeez. I don't think you dock at that point. You just rendezvous and then you send smaller things to go... Yeah. Shuttles in between larger things. All right, that was more just so that we can appropriately stop when it comes time to uh, actually line ourselves up with this thing. So it's going to be a little bit of an awkward park, but you know, whatever. As long as we can park, just slide into this parking space, nice and easy. I know docking is probably the most awesomely interesting thing to watch, but uh, I will argue that the sense of accomplishment you get from doing it, especially like the first few times, is awesome. It was obviously not my very first tag. Yeah, I was like, we'll have plenty of room to put uh, Dory over here. God, I cannot believe I forgot to take the contract for this flight. Oh, that was so dumb. I guess that means we don't have to hang out in orbit forever in a day. I 
you look at your completed ISS like station, it is Blair's Foreigner. It feels like first time. <laughs> Oh, I agree, Scorpio. When you build something magnificent by docking a bunch of things, and not that I'd know, I've never really built anything actually magnificent, so, you know, there's that. All right, so how is our orientation? We need to go this way. We probably need to bring the nose this way. So we can get directly under the port. Under the port, I say. Under the port, please, and thank you. We do need some nose down relative. All right. The one EVA would still be required to extract Dory. Yeah, this can be the most complex CLS compliant crew movement he's ever done. Yep, one EVA, we can complete the entire mission. Nope, that way. And a little bit more nose down. Should probably go ahead and bring these panels in. Not that they were doing anything to begin with. Track for track. There we go. Keep that nose down there, Bo. Ah. Camera has gimbal lock. All right, so it doesn't look like we're scraping any paint today. I should go back and rewatch it. So it's 339, 400 then. Exploratory Mars missions. Oh, Jamie, you've missed. Yes, definitely watch 399 and 400. <laughs> Just as easy as parallel parking after a couple of beers. <laughs> I mean, you know, parallel parking into a moving target while you are also moving at Mach 25. I keep forgetting the number, but also the old poo episode. Oh, a pulsified. What was that episode number? Yeah, so that was a resupply pod, and it was probably a, it was ahead of the 400 crew. Bit more nose down. And a bit of backing up. All right, where are we at? Way off. Stand by one. God, the gimbal lock on the camera is going to kill me. I cannot, for the life of me, get an angle that I like. Breaks, breaks, breaks. Come on. Okay, so it looks like this is going to be the best I can do.
Ground. Bump, bump. Pogers, thank you so much for the follow. Nope, wrong button. Nudge. Oh, too harsh. Too harsh, too harsh. <laughs> Why do people follow me and then I screw up so badly? All right, roll it in. Come on, you rookie pilot. Magnets? No magnets? Off. Go away. Docked. A round of applause, everyone. We didn't even, like, scrape any paint or really... You know, we, we nudged it once, but, you know, hey, that was quality. Also, camera focus changers pay for dockings. Post-flight inspection. What are those scorch barks here inside the bay? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> and mine didn't need it after all. Yeah, hey, we uh, we made it. We made it intact. We made it happen. And all right, I'm about a thunderous applause. Thank you. Thank you. Just grind the ports together for a minute. The teeth will match eventually, right? Absolutely. That is exactly my docking philosophy, Feathery Avian. Uh, where is this destined to go? Uh, the cargo. This is a uh, ferry ship that takes crew in between our low Earth orbit station and our low moon orbit station. And uh, now we have two of them, so we can maintain crew presence at our lunar su surface base or our lunar orbit station uh, at all times. Warp around to daytime. Any particular reason we should warp around to daytime, Wook? Also, you should post the link for the, the edit video that was made. Just go so it's not dark. All right, we're, there is our quick save. So, yeah, I guess we can go get ourselves a screeny. We got uh, some time. Also, solar power, question mark? Yeah, solar power is pretty questionable. So apparently, the station has been rotated off its primary axis, but we are charging the batteries. That might be uh, our fuel cell here in the uh, shuttle cargo bay doing its thing. But, ta-da! That's almost pretty. Pretty to pretty-ish. Perhaps. All right. Well, uh, thank you everyone for hanging out. I I, I really got to go. I'm like a half hour past my my runtime, but nice docking. That's a nice looking shot. Thank you, thank you. But uh, thank you for hanging out. And thank you to uh, all you people who came and raided. I'm glad you could come hang out with me for a little bit. It was uh, absolutely wonderful having you all here, especially that I could do something where I'm not screwing up for a change. I have a, a nice habit of just screwing things up a whole lot, so I'm glad you got to witness something. <laughs> five-hour stream, please. Uh, well, maybe I can work out a five-hour stream for episode 500, because that will be uh, in between my college classes over winter break, I'm sure. So I'm sure we... No, I can't promise a five-hour stream. Went better than a 90-minute RCS burn. Fair. It was a good call. Oh, thank you, Luca. Absolutely lovely to have you here. <laughs> it's wonderful to watch me screw up all the time. Makes everyone else feel so much better about their RSS playing. Because, <laughs> yeah, I just make it look dumb. And still sub one orbit. Oh, yeah, that's true! <laughs> yeah, you've got a lot of catching up to do, Jamie. I want to say episode 306. Right on. I hope so. That was uh that was a fun moment, really. But uh yeah, this is my first launch to rendezvous, and it happened entirely on accident. From uh launch to rendezvous before we uh really cleared the Atlantic. Or no, we did clear the Atlantic. Before we cleared Africa. Before we cleared the Pacific, we were definitely docked. 
Catch you next time. Thank you. All right. I really got to get going this time. But uh, thank you, everyone, for hanging out. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, I will see all of you next time. Episodes go up to YouTube uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and uh, right here on Twitch every Sunday at 4 p.m. Central Time. There's a timer yeah, below the thing and whatnot. So excellent. All right. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. And I will see all of you in the next one. So uh, until then. See you later.